Hello everyone and welcome back. I see some of you were left in shambles from my last video, so go ahead and take a second to be in your feelings. No, but in all seriousness, I'm here to reconcile. After scrolling through all of your comments and hearing all of your battle cries, I literally had to stop and question why my tutorial wasn't working for anyone else but me. I tried to use my big brain energy to figure out a solution. I repeated all the steps, but nothing was working. I just came to a conclusion that it just wasn't going to work for everybody. So I didn't want to post anything or make any more content after that. That mentality worked for me until I myself tried to use my tutorial again and I got the 2% screen of death. After I saw that my game was stuck on 2%, I hopped right on Google, did some extensive research, and I finally found the antidote to bald, to bald cancer. cancer. No, but in all seriousness, if you still want to know how to download your mod slash custom content and your game to your external hard drive, keep watching. If your game got stuck on 2%, you need to reformat your hard drive. First, make sure your hard drive is plugged up to your computer. Next, open your files folder and locate your external hard drive. Open it to make sure it's totally empty. Next, right click on your external hard drive. Click on the format tab and wait for the window to pop up. After the window pops up, click on the drop down menu under file systems. Select the NTFS tab. After you selected that, click on the start button at the bottom of the window. You should now see a warning window pop up. Just click OK. Wait for your external hard drive to finish formatting. After your drive is properly formatted, you just click OK. When you're finished with that, close the tab and open your EA app. After you've opened your EA app, go to the downloads page and click download. When the download options panel pops up, click change. Next, locate your external hard drive. Click on your external hard drive and press OK when you're done. Your installation location should now say D drive. Click next and wait for your game to install to your external hard drive. Now open your game and make sure it's loaded properly. Now go to your in-game menu option, find your others tab, enable script mods, and exit your game. Once you're done, pull up your task manager and find anything related to your EA app or The Sims 4. Right click and end task. After your Sims 4 and your EA app background apps are closed, you close out your task manager. Next, go to your external hard drive and locate your Sims 4 game to ensure all your game data is installed properly. Now open your documents folder and locate your electronics arts file. Make sure you have both your documents folder and your external hard drive where your Sims 4 game is open at the same time. Open your electronics arts folder in your documents file. If you need to rename your file called The Sims 4 in your external hard drive so you don't get this next step mixed up. Go back to your electronics arts folder, right click on The Sims 4 and press cut. Go to your external hard drive, right click and press paste. In your computer search bar, type CMD and open the command prompt window. This window should pop up next. Go down in the link in the description, copy this link. Make sure if your path is not a D drive, then you change that to whatever your pathway is. Copy the link into your command prompt and make sure it has the correct syntax. If it's copied correctly, it should say junction created. And if you can see, it says junction created for my C drive electronics arts folder and it's linked to the D drive, um, my Sims 4 game. When you look at your Sims 4 folder in your electronics folder, there should be a little arrow on your little um, folder tab. 
So next, find a mod to download. Open your downloads folder and your external hard drive. Unpackage your mod if necessary. Open your Sims 4 folder and your external hard drive. Locate your mods folder. Open your mods folder. Now copy your mods from your downloads folder into your mods folder on your external hard drive. Reopen your EA app. If your Sims 4 game says download after you reopen your EA app, just repeat the same steps that we did before. Download your Sims 4 game to the same file location on your external hard drive that you initially downloaded it to. After the game has downloaded, open your external hard drive to see if all of your game data is still properly downloaded to your external hard drive. Next, open your documents file. Check to see if The Sims 4 is still has that little arrow on that file. Reopen your game. After your game is open, you should see your script mods on your loading screen. To make sure that your mod that you downloaded is actually functional in game, as you can see, everything worked perfectly fine. That sums up the video for today, guys. Thank you for watching, and if this video was helpful or unhelpful, let me know down in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, and hit that post notifications button, and I'll see you guys next time.